G'day guys and welcome to this Slender Jim Retro Spec. Today we're going to be looking at a little bit of a classic. Monopoly Tycoon. This game I saw when I was a kid but I never actually got it. So let's see if we found a hidden gem or another thing that's come off the rubbish pile. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. It's made by the original people who made Roller Coaster Tycoon. So without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, so we'll start up the game. Oh, look at that. Just a classic, classic logo. The Infograms logo loading up there. Just lovely. It's a bit funny at the moment. Oh, yeah, well, this is looking a bit dire. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It seems to have crashed, but at least it crashed safely, I guess. Oh, old PC games. Wait, let me go and fix this up. Give me one moment. Thank you. Well, I managed to get the game to work quite fine after changing a little setting in the config file. Along with this, I also changed it to 1080p as the options don't really allow you to do that without changing it manually in that file. So once the game does start up, you are brought to this little opening cinematic and then taken to the main menu. From here, you can go to the settings and actually change the board to your country, which is a really nice touch, I felt. Once I selected my game board, I then went to the single player campaign and was presented with this. It's completely different to standard Monopoly. They've taken out the dice rolling mechanic and then focused more on the building aspect. So you select a zone to build on. Along with this, you get also the ability to build different types like apartments and shops and nighttime events, which is an interesting part of the game. So you can't just focus on building one building. You need to have a good variety and a good mix. Along with this, you've also got the ability to buy out the whole zone. And when you start versing AI, this is when this gets really crucial because you really want to buy it out so you can make the most profit on the land. Along with this, you've got to build the correct quality of building for the zone you're building in. For example, here with the brown properties, I'm building low quality buildings, as in Monopoly, they're usually the cheapest to build on, and it'll also tell you in the game. So even if you've never played Monopoly, the game does do a really good job at telling you how to play this version in particular. One last thing I'd like to touch on in the scenarios area is the different varieties. Personally, I found a few of the earlier stages quite boring as really you're only building by yourself but later on when you start versing the AI that's when the game starts to actually shine and becomes really enjoyable. So at the end of the day guys what did I think about Monopoly Tycoon? I found it pretty good like it's a pretty good time overall but I would say it's very hard to recommend it's like, especially if you are a roller coaster tycoon fan, because you'll probably be a little bit disappointed at the lacking of, well, customization. Because in roller coaster tycoon, you could do a whole lot of customizations to roller coasters and all that, where this you've got quite a limited amount of stuff to build, and it's really more focused on optimizing your planning on a block. So that means you fill it with as much retail and residential as possible. For somebody who likes management, like building games, or like city builders like City Skylines and the original SimCity, um, I mean, I couldn't really recommend that either. I would probably have to say I'd still go with City Skylines overall. But if you like a little bit of a twist on your Monopoly and you're a bit of a Monopoly fan, this could possibly be something to keep your eye out, especially if it's going for the right price. The game's not bad. If we judge it on its own merit, it's actually a pretty fun game and it's got a fair bit of content to keep you going. Personally, I found the game got more enjoyable when there was AI actually competing. So they were actually buying up properties and were buying up the property space and stuff like that. So you had to pay them rent when you build on it. And also sort of that combination of like you need to know which areas are a bit more prestige and you need to build the corresponding building. So ultimately that's a fun time and there's also multiplayer. So I mean, if you can get some friends that have this game around, I think you could probably have a, a fairly decent time. But overall, if you can find it for cheap, probably something to pick up, but not something to just be, you need this now sort of game. 
Other than that, thank you very much for watching. My name's Matt. Thank you for watching this Slender Gym Retrospect. If you want to check out some of my other videos, over there will be a Slender Gym Reviews, and right there will be a Let's Play that I did recently. Other than that, thank you very much. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.